Hi friends, so this blog is in continuation of uh, with the last uh, linear regression demo on with using Azure Machine Learning Studio. Uh, we had used the college data set where uh, the five independent variables were used uh, to predict the salary uh, which was the regression and, and, and these being the regressors of the predictor variables. And we established and built the model uh, along with the hypothesis on Azure ML and, and, and this was the model that we had built. If you want to uh, refer again how this was done, please go uh, and visit my last blog on uh, the college salary uh, using Azure Machine Learning. Uh, the intent of this video is to take it ahead and set up a web service out of this, this model that we have tested with an efficiency of 81%. And, and we would be using that web service uh, to connect to the web apps or any websites to be able to uh, predict the, the, the salary. Uh, so the first, first important point is to set up a web service from here on. So as our model is successful, what we have to do is uh, set up a web service with the predictive uh, capabilities. So we are just predict creating a predictive experiment and as we do that, as Azure is doing that, we can see there are certain changes happening uh, while it is making the predictive experiment. You see there, there is a new tab introduced and the new tab is, uh, is having a couple of uh, changes. We have a web service input and a web service output uh, along with certain other changes. Now this all looks good. This all uh, looks uh, good and makes sense. So this is our, our, our model which we have trained and it, ha it holds the, the, the scores of the coefficients and the intercepts for, for the data. And this is the scoring that has been done on the data set and this is the web service output. All looks good, only the changes would be, first of all, we uh, would have to launch the column selector and deselect the salary. Uh, why we are doing that is we want only the, the, the five uh, independent variables to be uh, going as an input to the web service and the web service returning me the salary. The second change uh, is uh, we are trying to keep the web service as an input so what we do is we hook it, hook it up to the score model that's done. Now, with these two changes, uh, uh, let's again uh, reevaluate. Um, okay, we're good. So, let's run the uh, run uh, the experiment again with these two changes. Uh, and all being good, uh, we will be able to deploy it as a web service. So it, it ran successfully. Uh, having said that, let's deploy it as a web service. So what we see is on the tab of web service, there is a new web service experience uh, uh, coming up with the college salary predictive experiment, and we have two kinds of execution possible. This is the API key which can be which would be used uh, when we are uh, connecting it with with a web, from a website or a web app. Uh, so let's try and test it. So as you can see, these are the four input parameters uh, let's say we are going with mail 15 uh, rank let's say full let's say number of years in current rank 15 years highest degree is doctorate and let's say years in highest degree is 25 and while we test this this it should be returning if we see the details it is returning me the salary based on the model uh, looks good uh, let's test let's also test the new web service experience this uh, leads you on to the test endpoint and configure endpoint tab so if you if you click on the test endpoint this again results in an experience to be able to generate the same so let's test it again quickly uh, let's go with the f with female this time and let's say full number of years maybe 12 highest degree doctorate and 15 the response is the salary looks all good now let's go back and we can configure the end endpoint 
uh, we can as well as well see if we go and connect to use endpoints is basically gives you the keys and the uh, URL that would be needed so you just need the primary key and the URL uh, and it also gives you a sample code in C sharp Python and R which you would be using to be able to uh, connect and pass on the input parameters and get uh, get your output so this this all looks awesome you know uh, the the Azure uh, is is a one stop for for you to automate and productionalize your your machine learning uh, models that you built from here the only other question what about what about a hardcore R programmer uh, so for the next video what we will be doing is we will be evaluating a model building it the in, entire model in R and then we will deploy that model as directly as a web service without even having to to do the experiments and predictive capabilities here in 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 your Azure ML you can directly put the web service from from R that is what we are going to see uh, in the next video uh, and th that is this is really awesome because uh, because the R integration provides you a direct web service and Azure ML as you can see you can directly create a web app quickly and, and enable it in a matter of minutes uh, and, and retrain your models whenever required so so yeah keep watching I should be back in sometime soon uh, with the next blog on how to create a web service through R thank you